Well, hello, friends. It's so nice to see you here for these wonderful students at the end of the year to have a concert in person, which is such a joy and a privilege. Welcome today to Seasons of Love, a broad-ranging exploration of many forms that love takes. My name is Dr. Maren Haynes Marcassini, and I am truly blessed and honored in so many ways to direct the Carroll College Choirs. It is such a joy and a privilege. Um, on this Mother's Day, we especially honor the incredible gift of mothers and motherhood. I know many of you are mothers in this room, and if not, I'm sure many of you have mothers in this room. And so if we could just give a round of applause for the wonderful gift of motherhood. true wellspring of love in so many of our lives. And we begin our concert today examining the beauty and fullness contained in the love of children in particular, whether or not they are our own. And that's an appropriate place to begin, I think, this Mother's Day. So today, through poetry and music, we immerse in the importance of loving and coming alive to ourselves, the complicated dimensions of romantic love, and the incredible love of God for us that brings us into fuller awareness of one another's belovedness. We end by considering the wonderful love of friends across a long lifespan. So I look forward to taking this journey together with choirs and orchestra featuring many of our soloists along the way. Today, though, I am especially excited because we are going to debut a few new compositions written for our choirs and orchestra. Our treble choir and string ensemble will play a new work of mine that's called Little You, and I composed it for my two small children based on a beautiful little children's book. And then our local composer and instrumentalist and musician, David Casey. David, do you want to give a wave? Right there. Who's right here? A Carol grad himself composed several really gorgeous pieces for our choirs a new folk choral piece called Awake My Soul, and an arrangement of one of his hymns called Oh How Great. It's such a joy to bring new music into the world and a gift, too. We have been so delighted, David and I and the choirs, to be honest, by the still mystical process that one day a song just emerges where no song had been before, and how cool that is. So I'm grateful to David and our carol musicians for collaborating in the process of creating new, mu mu uh, sorry, new music together. I will also now turn it over to the wonderful Linda Muret and the string ensemble to start our concert. Happy Mother's Day. Actually, I've been calling it Women's Day and because we have uh, children and young adults as well as um, young uh, families as well as people like me with grandchildren. So it's uh, Women's Day for me. Um, we are grateful to be here, the String Ensemble and I, and we get to start the concert with Einklein Nacht music by Mozart. And then also we're gonna do a Camille Saint-Saëns uh, movement. It's called Third of Three where this can, um, uh, symphony was actually written for organ, um, uh, concerto, and we are just playing one of the movements, and so we're playing the third symphony, third movement. So here comes the string ensemble.
the treble choir to find their way to their places and we are going to and you stay here string ensemble and we're going to have a little bit of poetry to punctuate some of our moving from place to place so an excerpt from on children by khalil gibran whose name i misspelled in the program it's k-a-h-l-i-l a woman who held a babe against her bosom said speak to us of children And the prophet said, your children are not your children. They are the sons and daughters of life's longing for itself. They come through you, but not from you. And though they are with you, they belong not to you. You may give them your love, but not your thoughts, for they have their own thoughts. You may house their bodies, but not their souls, for their souls dwell in the house of tomorrow, which you cannot visit, not even in your dreams. You may strive to be like them, but do not seek to make them like you. For life goes not backwards, nor tarries with yesterday. You are the bows from which your children as living arrows are sent forth.
We now foray into some exploration of all the different ways that we love and cultivate love for and find empowerment within ourselves. And so a poem that I think captures that perfectly, Wild Geese by Mary Oliver. You do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Tell me about despair, yours, and I will tell you mine. Meanwhile, the world goes on. Meanwhile, the sun and the clear pebbles of the rain are moving across the landscapes, over the prairies and the deep trees, the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile, the wild geese high in the clear blue sky are heading home again. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination, calls to you like the wild geese, harsh and exciting, over and over announcing your place in the family of things. And I invite up David Casey.
We have a few songs about romantic love. They are all over the place because it's quite an experience. But here is a, a briefly more hopeful note uh, from the poet Pablo Neruda, an excerpt from Sonnet 17. I love you without knowing how or when or from where. I love you directly without problems or pride. I love you like this because I don't know any other way to love, except in this form in which I am not nor are you, so close that your hand upon my chest is my hand, so close that your eyes close as I fall asleep. Thank you.
Gria's dance came from calypso ribbons, rhythms that appeared down the Caribbean for the slaves from Africa in the 1600s. And a griot is a storyteller of the village. So this is griot's dance. All right, our next piece is kind of a jazzy, snazzy, kind of a blues. We almost need hats and dark, dark glasses on. But this one is called Apple Seed in My Banana. So the composer was one day having breakfast with her daughter, and she found an apple seed with her bananas. And I guess she, being kind of a crazy kind of musical type, started snapping a rhythm, and this is what she got. Apple seed in my banana. Apple seed in my banana. Dare you not to sing this afterwards. Mm. 
As the choirs make their way up, two pieces on the beloved nature that God sees us through. And so a reading from the book of John, 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 and 8, a translation from the message by Eugene Peterson. My beloved friends, let us continue to love each other since love comes from God. Everyone who is born of God and experiences a relationship with God. The person who refuses to love doesn't know the first thing about God because God is love. So you can't know God if you don't know love.
Casey up for a second of his original pieces. We head into the final movement of our concert, amusing on the importance of friendship and a poem, Old Friends by Freya Manfred. Old friends are a steady spring rain or late summer sunshine edging into fall or frosted leaves along a snowy path, a voice for all seasons saying, I know you. Old friend, I knew you before we met. I saw you at the window of my soul I heard you in the steady millstone of my heart, grinding grain for our daily bread. You are sedimentary, rock-solid cousin earth, where I stand firmly, astonished by your grace and truth. And gratitude comes to me and says, tell me anything and I will listen. Ask me anything and I will answer you.
Well, it comes to be that time in the school year and in the concert where we say goodbye to a few of the people that have been a part of our choir for quite a few years. And it's always so sad to see people moving on and we celebrate them though in all that they've accomplished here and all the things that they will do as they go off to the next thing. So I invite all of our seniors who have been featured throughout this program and will be featured in our closing piece to just step forward one at a time. And we've uh, written some cards and some notes from um, several of us, but I will forward you even more notes as soon as they're done, yes? Um, but we just are so grateful for a lot of hard work, but we've also been through so much. Um, the seniors you know, came in for about a year and a half of quote unquote normalcy before COVID has just upended our lives. And so uh, celebrating and uh, thankful for everything that they've put toward the choirs and all of the studies that they've been involved with at Carroll and for weathering some very hard years with choir in particular, <laughs> I will say. Um, we had to do a whole semester online, so that was not fun. But anyway, for Riley Weeks. Yay. And Ethan Chesson, or sorry, Ethan Melton. <laughs> for Bree Cook. For Siobhan O'Neill. For Zeb Antinoli. And for Arizona Duff, who not only was a part of the choir, but was a TA and was a TA through the thick of the hardship, including COVID and a pregnancy of mine and all kinds of things. So Arizona needs a big applause. <laughs> We also are really sad to say goodbye to a wonderful colleague this year as Linda Murette is retiring after this semester. Linda built this string program from a tiny little club to what it is today, a full class and so many students that have been uh, supported scholarships, had tons of performance opportunities and we are so grateful for everything that Linda has done for this program. So I hope we can give her a big round of applause as well. One, one more quick note, okay, for, of quick course, note. for the wonderful David Casey, who uh, is so generous with. <laughs> with absolutely wonderful compositions and just a, really an unparalleled musician in many ways. It's just a pleasure to know and work with David. So a uh, little card from all of us. So thank you. Yes, seven years ago, the college came to me when I was in my studio at my conservatory, I own Music Makers Conservatory, and they came to me and they said, Linda, we want to start a program. We have some string players on campus who are getting together to play, and we'd love to start a program. And I said, I'm too busy. Well, that didn't stop them. They still asked me to do it, and I, I did do it. So yes, we started for a year as a club, and then we grew into um, a class, and we have had usually anywhere from eight to 10 performances every semester, and it is a delight to me, and I have really enjoyed the students. So anyway, so thank you so much for remembering that. I was pretty quiet about it, but anyway, thank you so much for the love, and thank you so much for the music tonight. It has been lovely, it has been lovely. Thank you so much.
525,600 minutes How do you measure the life of